Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's the day we're going to try to get started on building the feed bunk in the goat barn. So if you guys have been following us, you've been seeing we've been milling our own lumber out of oak uh, trees from around the property. And we've been trying to set up Dutch's sawmill, testing it out and getting everything calibrated, leveled and all that good stuff. There's so much to that thing. And that thing is so much fun to use. But while we're doing that, instead of wasting the trees that we're using as test uh, subjects, I guess you can say, we're actually going to repurpose them and use them in the feed bunk or in the barn for the feed bunk that I've been talking about in some of my videos. And I don't really have a big plan. I don't have a good plan for to say. I'm kind of just coming up with this thing in my head. I'm not going off any other designs or anything. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant about getting started. I just want to make sure before I do anything too permanent that it's the way I want it to work and turns out good. And Miss Daisy's ready. Cause uh, I'm gonna try to set up a little thing that she can jump through where we can separate her feed from the goat's feed and she don't have to fight for her food from the goats. So hopefully this thing turns out okay. Um, I'll try to set the camera up and kind of film a little bit as I go. Like I said, I'm kind of just drawing this up as I go. I don't have any big plans or anything to follow, but I think it'll turn out fine. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit wider than the width of this 36 inch door all the way down. And you can see, I'm going to come off of these boards up here on the roof for my post. And then all my slats are going to be going this way horizontal and I got some uh, screws I got some short screws and some long screws and I got some drill bits because a lot of people say when you're working with this oak once it starts drying it's super hard to get a nail or a screw through so we're gonna find that out today um, I guess that's enough talking for now I need to get these goats out of here so I can actually get some work done so let's try to get them to follow us out here and close the gate I think I'm gonna feed them, so I doubt they leave. Come on, goats. Come on. Come on, goats. Come on, goats.
So one of the downfalls to use, using this fresh cut lumber is termites and rot and stuff like that. So if I just put this stuff right in the ground, especially in a goat barn with all the uh, manure and stuff, this stuff will get eat up pretty quick and the termites will move in and then it will not be strong. So what I'm gonna do on these little uh, boards, I'm gonna use as my post, kind of about the size of two by fours. I got some uh, scrap two by four treated lumber. And although I had planned on using 100% oak lumber, I am going to cheat a little bit and put some of the treated lumber down here. I'm gonna make a splice so it goes on the bottom just so this will last. Because down here on the ground, guys, if I just put that straight in the ground or on the ground, it will rot in no time. But luckily I got some scrap two by fours that are treated. I'll uh, cut, I'll probably cut like eight inches or something and then I'll make a splice and put the oak up here and then make a splice in the middle and then this will be on the ground this will be wet and get dirty and then the oak will be up here therefore it will last a lot longer Alright guys, we got our first post set and the screws went in just fine, no problems at all. I didn't have to pre-drill it or anything else. But like I said, I got those treated boards on the bottom with a little brace there. It's not the best looking, but I think it works perfect for this goat barn. And now I'll go get a couple of the uh, slats that's going to go across for the wall. And then, of course, this right here will be a little gate. I'll have a little gate opening. So whenever I come in the barn, I can actually come in this little gate right here. Don't need to be very big because I don't really want to transport animals or anything. Just wide enough for me and a bucket to get through there if I need to or supplies. So uh, I'll go get a slat and see. They're 12 foot long, but we're going to see what they come out at because I actually need it to come out on one of these joists here so I can bring another beam down for the post.
Hold it for a second. We're going to build a brace. Three feet. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to use some, uh, I didn't want to do this yet because I wanted to go ahead and build our feed bunk down here. So the idea of the feed bunk is I'm going to take like a one inch stick board like this wide and I want to have it sticking up like this from the back. That way when I walk in the back with the bucket of feed I can just pour it on this back side. The feed will run down and I'll have a lip on here where it'll catch. So right now you can kind of see this stuff kind of wet and it's not real secure. It's still kind of flexible. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use some of these scrap pieces with the bark on it. And I think at every four feet, I'm going to come up above where my feeder is going to be. And I'm going to put a backing on there, trying to strengthen it up a little bit. I just, I don't want to go all the way to the ground because I don't want to be in the way of my feeder. Can you hear me that gun? And this should help stiffen this up quite a bit. I'm really surprised how well these screws are going through this oak. What I'm doing is I measured four foot, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this in the center of this and I'm just gonna fill the bottom. Now I want you to mark on top of this board against this one so we can cut it. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go cut it real quick, okay? So I'm going to center it, just like that right there. I want you to put a screw right there. Here, I'll hold it. Remember how to do, use that gun? Hold it tight. Oh, there you go, hit the button. Go slow if you can. It's kind of hard with that gun. Uh. All right. Push. Oh. Hold on. It's dusty. Yeah. Try to push level. Make it level. Go down a little bit. Your gun. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now try it. A little more. 
until it pulls that board against it. Alright, let's put some more in there. Duh. Push. Oh, you're gonna have to. I dropped it. It's fine. Here, I'll get it. You know how to hold these? Hold it like this. You push. You gotta put some pressure on it. But not where you slip and hit your finger. Like, like this. Go ahead. Go ahead, push. Oh, that's good. Okay. I ripped the bark off. Yeah, watch this. Watch how I do it, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's go down here to the middle of the board. Of well, this board, but you want to be on this side of this board because you want one on this side too. Just kind of go slow. See how I'm hitting the trigger? Once you get almost all the way through, just kind of do it a little bit at a time so you don't go all the way through it. Okay. You gotta push kind of hard, but not hard enough where you it bends. Do it. On this side? Yep. Look, see where this one is. Try to make mm -hmm. it level with this one, but come over just a little bit. There you go. And look, hold your, hold the nail closer to the head, so that spiky stuff don't get you the threads. Okay. Hold it right there, and it'll burn a little bit sometimes, but it don't hurt. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. Get your nail or your screw level. Remember it's a little out of time? I can't it, do it. It's kind of hard in this oak wood, but remember try to hold your gun level. Look. Hold your gun level like this. Just like that. It should be started now. It's a little out of time. pressure right here with your other hand. There you go. There you go. Not too far. Got it now? Mm -hmm. okay. Right there. Let's see you do one right there. Scoot in just a little bit. No, that's fine. You're good. Over hold the level. Try to do a little bit at a time. There you go. Not too far. Keep going until this sucks up against the other board, but not too far. There you go. All right, got it. All right there. So, a lot of time, never go too deep. Perfect. All right, guys, you've seen it. I got the first part of the project completed. Caleb come out and helped me. That was a big help. And I got to teach him a little bit about using the uh, drill and the drill gun, all that good stuff. 
uh, he's done it before but a little refresher never hurts and I don't know if you guys can tell with the lighting and everything in here but I actually used red oak and white oak and I alternated every row see if you guys can tell the difference red oak on top white oak red oak white oak red oak white oak and it's just a little about four foot tall or so and what I was doing here is this stuff's still wet like I was saying and it still has a little sway in it you can see it kind of moving back and forth and that's why I went ahead and put these uprights in there for stiffeners just to kind of stiffen it up a little bit but I left that row down there empty that way when I build the uh, feeder however I do it I slant it down or whatever I uh, don't have anything blocking the feed as I pour it and then I'll beef it up a little more when I'm done but for now I'm out of two by fours we didn't cut very many of these so um, I actually got a special guest here now that just showed up and uh, Dutch is here he's over there getting the sawmill set up I'll take you all over there in just a minute I'm not gonna video much of that he's gonna video that so if you guys want to see any of that go check out his channel he'll be making me some more lumber for this project so I can get it completed this thing is going to be a game changer I still got to make the gate I gotta get some hardware to do all that but a little at a time I promise you it will get done and this is going to be a big benefit to us here on the farm and how much better than uh, doing it with free lumber pretty much that we're milling off our own property so uh, we don't have to go to Lowe's anymore for certain things for lumber anyways so let's go see if Dutch is ready to start milling us some more boards and then we'll end this video. All right guys, so he's here. I'm gonna put him to work. We got this log loaded up already. He said, hey, I need you to come over here and show me how to run this thing. So here we are, brought my uncles from Arizona and California. Yeah. And, yeah. So yeah. if you haven't met yeah. Dutch's uncles on his channel, go check them out. I think he's in a, they're in a couple of his videos you've been posting. Hey, I will tell you this, Kevin, don't let them use the bathroom because I done checked their suitcases full of toilet paper from my house. That's right. There, yeah. There's a shortage in California yeah. and Arizona. Yeah, I learned our free labor too. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? Yeah. So, so what are you going to mill up for? We're going to try to mill you up some 2 by 4 today, finish your project you've been working on. That thing looks awesome, man. Coming along, the oak looks wonderful. And what surprised me was the screws are going in just fine. Did you film that part, I yep. guess? Yeah, I can't wait to see this video. It. it looks awesome, guys. I'm sure you've already seen it by tell this them point. Go check, tell them to go check you out. Hey, over at Keeping It Dutch, uh, we'll be milling this two, these 2 by 4s up. Uh, me and Kevin both got some process of assembling the, the mill, which was a chore, um, but we, we're getting it dialed in, so I think you guys can be impressed when we're done. All right, guys, so uh, I'm not going to keep him talking too long. We need to get this done so I can finish my project. He's going to mill up some 2x4s, like he said. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey and following all these videos. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you guys say you like this type of stuff, you like the videos we're putting out. So uh, hopefully uh, we can keep working on this project as the weather permits. It's a nice day and uh, hopefully we can get some 2x4s milled today and then I can get working on this project in the uh, next day or two. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe to Dutch, subscribe to us, leave a comment, like this video. We'll see you next time.